On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make the Dublin Drop, Irish Shot, Irish Slammer, or as we all really know it, the Irish Car Bomb. Hey everyone, welcome back once again to The Blind Pig. As always, I'm your host, Jason. The Irish Car Bomb is a simple drink with a complicated history. At its heart, it's just a Boilermaker, which is a shot dropped into a beer. Because of its name, however, it evokes a lot of emotions that can be difficult or even impossible to order at certain bars. At your local college or sports bar, you'll probably have no issues ordering one. Hit up an Irish bar, travel to the UK, go to Ireland, ask the bartender for a car bomb, you'll be lucky if you'll get told no and kicked out, and not a black eye. So why is the name so controversial? The drink's name refers to decades of violence between religious groups in Ireland. One day in 1972, which is known as Bloody Friday, involved the detonation of over 20 car bombs in Belfast, which resulted in nine deaths and over 100 injured. The drink itself was first invented in 1979 at Wilson's Saloon in Norwich, Connecticut. It became popular around the US as the bar was frequented by Navy personnel who would ask for the drink at other bars they visited. The owner of this bar, Charles Burke Cronin Oat, has apologized and expressed regret for the name after receiving public pushback from IRA victim families. In an article he would write, he said, if you invent a drink such as the car bomb, as I did long ago, beware. You never know if it might become famous, so pick the name very carefully. If you love the drink as much as we do here at The Blind Pig, but want to order without offending anybody, try using one of the other names it goes by, including the Dublin Drop, the Irish Shot, or the Irish Slammer. The original recipe actually called for a splash of Kahlua, but that's been traditionally excluded over time. What you do is you drop it in, quickly drink it up, for the Bailey's Curdles. This drink is super simple to make. One little thing though, always pour your Baileys first. So we'll do about half a shot glass of Baileys. We already poured our Guinness in the glass. If you've had Guinness before, you know, it takes a little while to settle. Didn't need to show that on camera. Top it off with our Jameson. You can use other Irish whiskey for this, but Jameson is the traditional way to go. And then, you know the drill. We drop it in. Remember, drink it quickly. Your Baileys will start to curdle if you don't. So go ahead, drop and chug. Bombs away. <sighs> Delicious, tastes like chocolate milk. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment below, like the video. We'll see you soon. Cheers. She's fine. Just give her a nice pet. <laughs>